Hello, friends, and welcome to The Wonder of It All, a podcast about the blessings and curses of success in the arts and the ways creative people embrace it, reject it, obsess over it, ignore it, pretend to ignore it while secretly obsessing over it, and so on and so on and so on. My name is Sean Nelson, and I'm your host. Please welcome John Hodgman. I had some very creative successes that made me very happy, but not wealthier until one year when everything changed very dramatically. Please welcome DC Pearson. For a long time, you maintained a particular look. Was that partly because it made you sort of typable in that kind of realm? It's only really in the past couple of years that I've gone like, oh, it's not necessarily bad for what I do to a little bit turn yourself into a cartoon character. But a lot of the having a beard and long hair, I think was just, I don't want to say neglect. The greatest role I play is somebody <laughs> with a modicum kid, of self-respect. Kid, you got the goods. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Adam Duritz. Somebody like Bono or Sting had rented a hotel room and we went up to this room and it's me and Bill, Paul McCartney, Neil Young, Billy Joel, and uh, Bruce, Jesus you know? Christ. And maybe a couple people from their bands. And we had, we had this talk for a few minutes, and, I, and as I left that night, I realized I'm not good talking to my idols. I get really nervous. But I did okay in this one conversation with Paul McCartney, which is, you know, a big deal. As and, big a deal as I can even imagine. Yeah. I mean, I've met a handful of people I really, really admire, but I don't think I... I just feel like I would fall to pieces. Please welcome Lena Hall. I don't really see any um, delicate way to, um, into this subject, so I'm just gonna <laughs> ask directly for you to tell the story of how you wound up um, singing for the Pope when you were seven years old. I do remember the early, early morning getting in the car with my parents and my sister and driving to um, Candlestick Stadium, which no longer exists, right. to do like a sound check and, and a, a stage through and to kind of go through the whole process before we did the show. My, my parents always call it the Pope Show. The Pope Show. <laughs> or as I call it, the Catholic Church. Yes. <laughs> and I do remember that we all collectively, the three of us forgot the lyrics at the exact same time. And that was like my very first performance. Please welcome Jacob Slichter. They chose the wrong song to be the first single. It should not have even been a single, I think. Was that Down in Flames? Yeah, it was a song aptly titled Down in Flames. <laughs> we were too loud for AAA, the sort right. of softer stations, but not loud enough for alternative, the louder stations. We were sort of in between. You were all so good at your instruments, and there was nothing like stumbly or ramshackle about it. If a band takes the stage and I don't see the ambition or hear it, I'm immediately uninterested. In terms of my relationship to being called a one-hit wonder, I'll definitely take that one hit. <laughs>